you've, you've taken that step of faith. Yeah. And you know, right with your Savior. And now you want to say, listen, we want to, we want to go public with your faith. And that's what baptism is all about, is just going public yeah. with your faith and saying, hey, I want, to, I want to live this out. You know, as long as I'm breathing, I want to live this thing out, right? Well, the early church, um, just a great example. Peter's preaching away, right? So I thought, you know, instead of me preaching today, I'm going to let Peter preach, all right? Because my words are going to be worth nothing, all right? So here's Peter. Here's what he says. And this is when the church is exploding. And he says this. And Peter said to them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of, the, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words, he bore witness and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word, get this, were baptized. And they were added to the day, uh, or added that day, about 3,000 souls. And I just, man, that's just so exciting to me, you know, to just know that the birth of the church and, and people were repenting. And that's what you did. You repented, and now we want, we want to baptize you. The so, thing you learn, you don't know. We talk about the church. The church is not the building. Right. The exactly. church are the people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's what we preach all the time, right? Yeah. And then further on in Acts, you know, when the church is exploding and you know, you got all these that disciples going to jail and all that kind of stuff. Here's here's another um, scripture that just I, I want to encourage you. And it says this, and this is when uh, the Philippian jailer came to Christ. All right. What it says, and they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. And they spoke the word of the Lord to him, to all who were in his house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their wounds. And here it is, and he was baptized at once, he and all of his family. And so, here's a really cool thing a lot of your family was baptized already, right? And we have a uh, grandson, Hunter, he has, uh, wants to be baptized. He's getting baptized in the river. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be so good. And so I'm going to put my Bible down, and uh, I'm going to take this pitcher of water. And uh, Art, just on your profession of faith and knowing that you have the Lord Jesus living within you by the power of Holy Spirit, and as the lead pastor of Calvary Church, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah! <laughs> right on. Very good. What do you think of that? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Right on. Right on. Right on. Let me pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for today. We thank you so much for Art. Thank you for the life that you have given him. Thank you for the choice that he made to receive you and now to be baptized and to be made public in his faith. And so, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will continue to bless him. I pray that you would, um, again, by the power of your Holy Spirit, continue to heal his body physically. But, Father, we know that he's healed spiritually. And, Lord Jesus, we know that um, you are his Savior. So, Lord, we are excited for him. We celebrate this today. And we just uh, say thank you for moving his heart in the direction of yourself. And may we and the church family and uh, his own family close to him just be able to be an encouragement to him. And I ask all this in your name. Amen. 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 You know, if you sit here long enough, you'll dry off like we do. <laughs> <laughs>